Let's see if it's going. I can't see. I can't see if it's going. All this technology. It says green. It says green. Green is go. Green is good. So, oh, is it going? It says you are live. Yep. All right. Hey, you guys. This is Brad. And I'm Kristen. From the Big Family Homestead. And today we wanted to try something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We have done our monthly planning videos in the past, and we've shown you how we can feed a massive army mm -hmm. for a little bit of dough. Yeah. Uh, but today we decided we're going to go ahead and, you know, do it live. Yep. And so check this out. We've got some techno. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. Go ahead. Say, we're doing it live so you will get to hear us, you know, argue over what we're having for dinner tomorrow night. Or more like tonight. <laughs> right. But we've got, we've got a nice little setup so I can hopefully see some of your comments. Mm -hmm. And we've got a tight camera so you can see yep. what mom is writing down there. Yep. Uh, now... As we go, we're going to try to give you tips that we actually use in our day-to-day. -day. And um, so before we do that, um, do you have, did you find this document or is this something I, they got to get? something I just made. You can easily make a table on um, uh, Google Docs and space out your blocks easily and then just label it. If you are... Yeah. That's subscriptions. See, before before we started going live, I was told that I would press one button and we'd be able to see something. So you're witnessing right now, real time, it not working the way we thought. <laughs> so while she's figuring that out, there it goes. Different page. It just needs to listen to me. I did exactly what you, you did said. did not listen to me. I did exactly what you said. You want to malign me when I'm wrong? I have no problem with that. I was right. Booyah. He was looking at the wrong page. Watch this. Taking one for the team. All right. So, um, moving ahead. One of the things we do religiously, guys, is we watch our store ads. And that's actually one of the main reasons why I wanted to have this up, because we've got our Kroger ad here, which is for our area. We've got our Aldi ad here, mm -hmm. which Aldi is a great store. Yes. They're a um, German company, German right? German company, and they, they have locations around the world. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many stores that they have, but they are everywhere. And this week's ad is awesome. Has a five dollar coupon on thirty five dollars minimum. So that's really a really good deal. So right there, we just saved you five bucks. You're welcome. Yes. Uh, but what we do is uh, we make sure that we're looking at our our different store ads that we like to go to mm -hmm. because you know um, Kroger may have a great deal on chicken and Aldi may have a great deal on strawberries or whatever else right. it is. But I, I think we need to pause for a second because in the past, a lot of people know that we homestead. Yes. And, um, well, a lot's changing for us, guys. We're actually in the, the mode of moving from this homestead to another one. So we don't have access to our chickens. We don't really have access to our cow anymore. She's gone. Right. And our goats are pretty much for the, the mamas, for the babies. Right, and they will be moving to a foster place here yeah. on Saturday. So. so we would be normally telling you guys, well, we got our eggs from the chickens. Well, we got our chicken from the chickens. Well, we got our this from that. That's not the case anymore. And so for now, we're going to be just like you guys out there who are going, well, yeah, I have to buy butter. Yeah, I have to buy milk, which that kills me. But um, all that to say, this is going to be a lot more appropriate for more of you guys out there just because we're in a pickle. <laughs> right. So we, we, our budget hasn't changed. It's still $500 for the month for, the for month. eight people. And yes, we're not getting eggs or milk from our cow. And or well, butter. Eggs from our chickens and milk from our cow or it's butter. It's a fun thing to watch, though. Eggs from the cow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone now. She's done. You are a turkey. Butter, so, we gotta buy now. Right, so we have to buy butter and we have to buy milk. Oh, I hate that. And so we still have to keep all of that underneath $500. So we are 
feverishly shopping the best deals from the two stores that we shop at. We, we don't buy food from Walmart generally. Um, and the convenient thing is Kroger and Aldi are right across the street from each other. So we're not having to drive mm -hmm. five miles away or to save fifty to cents. To save fifty cents, so it's yeah. you know that 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 thing is that's out of the out the the window. You know, it's it's a convenient place for us to go, going to the two places. Well, and also, there. one of the things, guys, that we're going to try to give you as many tips as we can um, at, throughout, in, and we're doing this real time, so. Uh, It'll be stream of consciousness kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I just thought of one of those streams. And um, we generally try to stay away from boxed, pre-processed foods right. as a whole. Right. We don't buy the, the hamburger helpers or the cheesy potatoes, things like that. So we try and make, make everything ourselves. If we want cheesy potatoes, we buy potatoes and we make cheese the, sauce. the cheese sauce from scratch with flour and butter and milk and cheese. So um, that said, mm -hmm. the first thing we'll do is we're going to go ahead and get our, our calendar ready to go. So yep. I'll show you this. We're going to actually show you as we go, guys. Yep. Um, so we got our calendar printed out and we're going to do that for a month. But then once we've got that printed out, we're going to go ahead and go through our our adverts and see what the good deals are. Now, this one right here, Aldi this week, where we're at. It's today only. Today only. So we'll be going to that store. Check that out. Yeah. Chicken thighs for 69 cents a pound. And that's a five-pound average. Yep. The average weight is five pounds of that package. So that's a, that's a really good deal. And um, so we'll look through these advertisements and start to kind of get it in our head what the good deals are so we can put them down here into the menu plan. And that way, we're not breaking the bank and we're still going to get a lot of fresh foods in there. Right. So here, we're definitely going to just maybe just jot down. We're going to want some chicken menu um, stuff. Here, use the back of one of these. Okay. There we go. So chicken's going to be on there. We'll at least get 15 pounds. Well, and we can can that, too. We can if can we want some of to. them as well. Um, we probably will, I will probably go ahead and debone some of it so that it's easier to thaw out and, you know, chop up and use for tacos sure. or a casserole dish or whatever. But so we're going to go ahead and we'll probably end up with, you know, 15 pounds of it because that comes to just over $10. Right. Uh, we'll also, you know, the baby carrots are on sale for 50 cents a pound. Mm -hmm. So we'll definitely get those. And one thing that's nice about carrots, guys, is they're root vegetables. So they stay good a long time where other vegetables would wilt and rot away faster. Mm -hmm. So we could get several pounds of the baby carrots and not worry that they're not going to get eaten throughout the month. Exactly. So strawberries are a dollar. Here, you look at that one. We'll okay. open up Kroger and we'll compare because we kind of know what it is that we our general staples are. And Blueberries are a good price, uh, ninety nine cents for six ounces. Um, Ouch. Yeah, that's. I don't. We'll wait till they're a pound. Well, they don't sell blueberries by the pound. They sell them in the little clamshell uh, containers. Don't like that idea. I know I don't like that idea. Kroger's either. got Kroger's got strawberries at ninety nine cents a pound. Okay. And those uh, Ohio grown on the vine tomatoes at ninety nine cents a pound. Okay. And that kills me, guys. By the way, because we don't have our garden, and that's that's a huge money saver for us. Yep. All right, moving on. You seeing any good deals, baby? No, this is all. Okay, food is only on the front and the back. Okay. And they, Aldi generally has butter for $1.70. Okay. $1.70. So that's where we get butter. And I thought they had a thing on cheeses in the back there, did they not? Um, I okay. All right, we're looking for sweet oh, deals. Oh, wait, here it is. Okay. Yeah, their cheese right now, um, a eight ounce package is a dollar seventy nine for cheddar cheese, and we don't buy the the American processed no. cheeses. We buy the actual real cheese. Yeah. Um, so, so they're yeah, they're we gonna are gonna spend a little bit more on cheese, but we know what's in it. Right, and so 
what we're also doing, guys, is like since I, I, it's either myself or myself and Mama here who will do the shopping. We're already kind of in our minds planning out. Okay, I've got to go to Aldi for this, this, and that. Right. I've got to go to a Kroger for this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. And like she said, they're nearby, so that's not a big, you know, hassle. Right. But actually, that Kroger's not doing very great deals on just about anything. Really? No, I mean, they have the same deal on strawberries as Aldi's does. And, I mean, their cream cheese over at Aldi is $1.50. No, it's $1.29. Oh, then it is better because they're yeah, doing cream, cream cheese, cheese here for $1.50, and that's on sale after mm -hmm. a rebate. Yeah, no, no, thank no. You. no. Yeah, no, the cream cheese is an eight ounce block for $1.29 at Aldi's. Yeah, and the cheese over here at Kroger is not a good deal. It's five bucks. Well, that's for a, is that a 32, 24, 24 ounce okay, package? Okay, okay. Um, so that's that, but that's shredded cheese shredded. and blocks. Yeah. We're looking at the slices over here. Okay. Is that, no, that's Where string cheese. That's string. Right there. Yeah, that's string. It's kind of hard to see these apps. Yeah. Um, but speaking of apps, too, guys, uh, if you sign up for the Kroger app, mm -hmm. they will send you coupons in the mail. Well, they also have e-coupons. That's what I was getting to. Yeah. yeah. And you can go ahead and just click it. It attaches it to your Kroger card. And it's for things you buy. Yeah, that's okay? not just stuff they want you to buy. And it's not just name brand stuff. It's store coupons. It's for the store brand items like the Kroger to make canned tomatoes, things like that. Um, uh, one thing that we still, even though we don't have our animals, one thing that is a big money saver that we still do is all of the breads. We make. we make all of the bread, yes. We don't buy store-bought sliced bread. We make it. Yeah, so if we're going to do something like that, it's we're going to buy flour. We're going to buy salt and yeast right, and stuff like that. we actually have to buy this month. Yeah, so we'll be going yeah. to GFS for that. Yeah. That's which the best that's, deal. That's a haul. Um, that takes us about, a, well, about 20, 25 minutes to get there. Um, but we buy the 50 pound bags of flour and yep. we buy two of them. And they're cheap. And they're cheap. They're about 11 $12, I think. Yeah. I can't remember. Um, and then that, those 100 pounds of, of flour will overfill four four gallon icing buckets that I've yep. gotten. I could probably fill five of them. Right. So I have some left in a bag. You know, just we have there. a question here <laughs> from Kirkland's Farm. How do you no, you need to be gluten free. Um, I don't. I can't answer that question. That's between you and your doctor. Yeah. Um, and that's something that we, none of the family members we have, have gluten intolerance. Uh, so yeah. you'd have to find that out on your own. There. Sorry, brother. Any um, other questions? We Kirkland's Farm. Uh, you asked if we use self rising flour. We do not use self rising flour. I buy bread flour. Um, it has a finer um, texture to it, and it has a higher gluten, um, so that the bread rises really nice, and it's nice and smooth. And Diane Grant says, I'm making your bread today. Oh, cool. I'm so glad. So, all right. Well, we're going to keep moving on, guys. If I see, if you don't mind putting your questions in all caps, mm -hmm. it's easier for me to see because the screen yeah. is actually much smaller. It only gives me about a quarter of the size. Yeah. Um, and Sarah is asking, yes. do you make your own sandwich bread? Yes, the we answer do. Is yes. yes, we do. She um, uses the uh, Italian? I use the French, French bread recipe. We have a video on the French bread recipe. And I just, I roll it to where it's not a long, lo long small loaf. I will roll it to where it goes into a 9x5 uh, loaf pan. And you were just happened to be recently gifted some new loaf Ooh, pans. Yes. We had a fantastic visitor yes. the last few days, and um, she gave us a two a pair um, of them. a pair of cast iron loaf pans. So we're gonna have to break those in. Wait to make bread in those. All right. So that's what we'll do for our first things, guys. We know that we're gonna get chicken from Aldi because not only are we gonna get chicken, we're gonna get some other stuff. And then we're gonna get the five dollars off. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get the five dollars off, mm -hmm. and then we. You know, Kroger usually has a lot better deals on a lot of things. I'm kind of let down this week. Um, they have a much bigger s selection of uh, produce. Wow. Kroger has their 
chicken thighs, a dollar twenty nine a pound. That's a huge difference. That's double. Yep. Almost, almost double. The price yep. of Aldi. Aldi has their chicken thighs on sale, um, and those are bone in. Yeah. Um, for sixty nine cents a pound. That's a great savings there. Patricia Lawson, how do I get the Thrive food items? I'd love to get some strawberries and chucking from them. Chicken. Chicken. Honey. Yeah, it's I just. A typo. It's my, my glasses. Claire's going to put the link up for that. For what? So, for Thrive, Thrive Life, Life Foods. Please. Thank yeah, you. and we're not going to make today about Thrive at all because no. we love it, but yes. we really want to stay focused on the budget. Uh, but she'll put some links up. And um, you can go to our Thrive store if you're interested. There's great deals, but we're not, it's I, not today. I was just seeing um, their whole white mushrooms. I think those are probably button mushrooms for 59 cents for eight ounces. I'd like to get a bunch of those and dehydrate them. Ooh, I don't know, baby. Why would we do that when we've got really, really nice cans of them? They're freeze dried. Because those are 59 cents. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later, baby. Right, right. All right, so okay, now... so I have a blank calendar here. Um, can you switch it to... Okay. Thank you. So I have a blank calendar here that doesn't have any dates on it. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is add those dates. And, I mean, this is supposed to be... This is May. Yep. So this is the first, right? Monday was the first. Okay. And you can kind of turn it as every so often so they can see yeah. what you're doing. Well, as soon as my hand gets out of the way, they'll be able to see it. Well, I'll go wide for now. Um, so I'm looking at our old meal plans. We keep them for probably about a year just because you'll put some new things on um, on the meal plans. And sometimes they're a hit and sometimes they're not. Uh, but you'll forget about it. And that was that's kind of the funny thing. I don't know if any of you guys feel like you get in a rut with your meals but it feels like lately we've been in a rut where it's just either been spaghetti yeah. or, you know, like a Mexican taco salad and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, okay, um, okay well, she's got the So I've got it show in, them. and these days are over. So I'll cross those off. This is today. Ooh. And I've already put in leftovers. Um, I type that in because that's generally when we do leftovers. Yep, Thursday nights. Thursday night is leftover night for us. And then we should actually change it to Wednesday night so we can rush to get to church. <laughs> well, we, we can see yeah. it. Let's keep it going the way yeah. it is. So, but this week, this weekend is a special day for our daughter, Hope. Who's it's her turning birthday. turning 12 on Saturday. So, pst. So, send your birthday card. <laughs> So we already know what she wants for her birthday dinner, and she wants shepherd's pie. And so I'm like, shepherd's ahead. pie for the win. Yeah. So put that over there. So shepherd's pie, and while you're writing that down, we had a question. Yes. Uh, just curious, how did the boiled peanuts turn out? Excellent. She go get a bowl. And show oh, maybe later. Bowl. Maybe later. <laughs> so, okay. So then what What mom is doing here, she's filling in the... the uh, Dates that we already know are not going to change. Also, too, um, Hope's got that. And then for the third of next month, we already have something planned out. Yes, we do. For the third of June, we have... Um, a get-together. A get-together at Caesar Creek State Park. And it's from 10 to 4. And we are... Inviting you. Everybody <coughs> is invited. There's no fee to come. Just all we're asking is that you bring um, something to eat for your family and maybe, maybe a little, a little bit to share just so that everybody has something to eat if they can't bring something because they're coming from far away. Like a big potluck. Yeah, just we're going to have a big potluck, just hang out and have a fantastic time. I think Brad's going to bring his guitar. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I've been stuffy lately. So, okay, well then let's... let's um, so we filled in the dates that we know. So like that third right there yep, is the Caesar Creek. And we actually have not planned out what we're going to bring, but yeah. I'm guessing we'll have to bring something like hot dogs. Um, oh, and by the way, if there are people that have dietary restrictions, guys, uh, we're going to make, uh, you know, so that you guys have your own area that you can cook in so that there's not cross-contamination of anything. Yeah, we're going to keep it, keep them 
separated. Keep them separated. Yeah. All right. Now, first things out of the gate. We have kids. So kids you? equals spaghetti. Spaghetti and kids go hand in hand. Especially Ruth. Our daughter, Ruth, who is almost six, absolutely loves anything with noodles. So. We generally try to have some kind of a spaghetti at least every other week. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by some kind of a spaghetti is a lot of that food is very similar. Like if you've got ziti, you're going to have a tomato sauce, you're going to have a noodle, and then something. Mm -hmm. If you've got lasagna, it's tomato sauce, a meat, and noodles. Right. If you have spaghetti, it's either sauce and noodles or meat sauce and noodles. Mm -hmm. So when we have a spaghetti, uh, it's generally that idea. Right. So right. we can go ahead and pick some out. And what we'll also do, too, is we take into account the days that are busy days mm -hmm. and the days that are not. So, like, uh, Sundays, yep. they're not so bad. Mm -hmm. uh, we can have an early uh, lunch. Yeah. Or yeah, we generally have a nicer meal on Sundays shortly after church, like 1, 2 o'clock. Yeah. So. And then we also take into account any other days that we know that are going to be busy. Mm -hmm. But right now, I think our we're pretty much open. We're re-engaging with a new church, and so we're kind of getting involved in all those different programs that are there, but we're not, like, locked into everything just yet. Right. So why don't you find it? So you got a spaghetti, and then skip a week, and then some kind of spaghetti. Okay. Then we'll go and check the... You're going to see my terrible handwriting. Sorry, folks. <laughs> I think I'm just going to do that on, on here. Let's do a ZD. ZD? ZD yeah, sounds good. I like ZD. And it's funny because it's basically the same stuff. It's the same thing, but there's loads of cheese all over it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now we also know that um, we've got to have some chicken meals because the chicken's on sale. Yep. But one of the staples around our house is also a taco salad mm -hmm. or tacos or fajitas. Yeah. yeah, fajitas are a little more money, so we only do that very rarely. Um, so, but why don't you put at least a taco salad and maybe, okay. or do you want to do quesadillas? Quesadillas are nice and cheap. Can take, quesadillas are nice and cheap. Um, and we can also shred up some of that chicken, like cook it in the crock pot and shred it up and put it on the quesadillas. We can. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that we try to do, so go ahead and start filling that in there. Another thing we try to do is um, uh, we don't try to have meat every day of the week. That That's not exactly the healthiest thing for you. So we right. try to span it out. Some days we'll have just salad. Uh, another time we might have just baked potato bar. The kids yep. like that a lot. So here, I'll show you what you got there. Where'd you pick? I got quesadillas here. I put nachos on a Saturday night. Sometimes, sometimes we do um, like a movie night, and we'll do nachos or pizza. Um, finger food. Finger foods, yeah. I'll make I'll make our own chicken nuggets. I won't we we don't buy the prepackaged chicken nuggets. You can easily take your chicken thighs or your chicken breasts, however whichever way you want, bread them up and and you can fry them or you can bake them. Um, I like to fry them in in our cast iron um, pans. Hey, and another thing that uh, a recipe that I kind of came up with, just because you want to have those finger foods for the kids. And stuff they like, but you don't always want to have the same kind of food all the time. Yeah. I took the idea of a quesadilla, and we make pizza dias. Oh yeah, they're really good. So you put, you got your, you know, you got your fajita. Your so yeah, sorry, yeah. a lot of yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then you put your sauce down, your cheese, maybe some pepperoni, and you're done. Mm -hmm. And it's cheap, fast. They love it. Yep. So, uh, chicken stamps. What's in your nachos? In our nachos, um, pretty much anything. Uh, Ruth likes black olives. So we'll well, no, no, we, we got meat. Oh, oh yeah, we, we will have, um, sometimes we'll have chicken and beef. If we're doing, if we have some leftover chicken, we'll reheat it and chop it up really nice. Um, but most of the time it's beef with our sazon seasoning. That's yep. our taco seasoning, our taco meat seasoning. Um, lettuce, tomatoes. Uh, cheese, sour cream, sour cream. Uh, we, we usually call it like Mexican mess because it just looks like a big mess on your plate. And you can put whatever you want on there. I think Jonathan sometimes puts banana peppers, yeah. um, jalapenos. One nice stretch. 
uh, what we'll do oh. is we'll use refried beans because um, that way you can get away with only using one pound of ground beef mm -hmm. and then you've got your big can of beans and that makes it stretch and everybody yeah. still gets the taste of the meat and everybody mm -hmm. still gets the refried beans but it's going to stretch your dollar a lot further when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, yep. um, did you get those on the old plan, Mo? Yeah. Okay. I did. So then when you get your things in there that are like staples, another staple of our family, uh, and it's getting more expensive. Um, you know what? We'll come back to that one. But um, great cheap meals. Breakfast. Breakfast for dinner. Mm -hmm. As long as you stay away from the expensive meats, oh, yeah. you can still eat great. Like eggs at Aldi, they're 69 cents a dozen. I think they're on sale right now for 59 cents. They are. Look at that. 59 cents yeah. a dozen. So two dozen eggs, guys, you're at a buck 20, right? Mm -hmm. Then you can make biscuits for pennies. Yes, you can. Biscuits are so easy and so cheap. You can have uh, biscuits and sausage gravy for under $5. And feed 10. Yeah. Yep. And so then you got eggs, biscuits, sausage gravy, mm -hmm. and you're out the door at you know what, 6.25, 6.30. That's incredible. For a lot of people. Feeding a lot of people. Yeah, and we always have leftovers. So in the mornings, the left I'll always make a big, humongous tray of biscuits, and we get probably 18 to 20 biscuits. So we'll eat maybe 10 the first night, or breakfast or whatever, and then the leftover biscuits... The kids will reheat with some of the leftover sausage gravy, or then they'll make like their own little egg McMuffins. Yeah. So that's that's really, um, but it's a great yeah. saving. I mean, you yeah. could throw them in the freezer if you wanted to, and then they just have to thaw them out in the. Well, and another oven. thing for the families who like, dad, teenagers must have meat. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of you know having bacon all the time, consider getting some of the chunk ham. You can get some of the chunk ham or even the sliced ham. And when you get those those little hams that are pressed together, like the Cumberland Farms, yeah. you can get them for a couple bucks. Mm -hmm. And you can stretch them a really long way to, to go yeah. through a couple meals. Well, and we, we'll buy those, and I'll cut them up to where they're about the size of a pea. And then we'll make... we'll. We'll get a bunch. We'll have a bunch of eggs, and we'll make breakfast burritos. And I just wrap them up in some saran wrap and throw them in the freezer. And the kids just heat throw them in the oven and, yep. and cook those up. So they've got eggs. They've got Jeez. usually green chilies. We'll put in there. Yeah, onions. Onions. And that's about it. Uh -huh. And you know, so that way when you pop that thing out of the oven or however you want to warm it up, you can put a little salsa on the top if you want. Yep. Yep. So did you get our, our, our Latin meals on there? I have uh, nachos. I have one. I have only one. Oh, quesadillas. Oh, quesadillas. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see here. Maybe a chicken burritos. Uh, yeah, let's let's wait and see. Okay. Let's wait and see. Okay. Um, but other things that are staples in our world, guys, we like. Um, this is a, one of the more expensive meals just because meat is costly, is uh, uh, sausage and uh, kraut and mashed potatoes. So yeah. like a kielbasa, beef kielbasa, you get a big can of sauerkraut and you cook that just like that. And you also have uh, mashed potatoes. And uh, that meal does cost us about 12 bucks. Does it? Yeah, because the meat is now like between There's four and meat. five. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then the mashed potatoes, that's cheap because you get potatoes on deals. Yeah, we do that. We, we don't do that meal very, very often because it is pretty pricey. Yeah, but I think I'm, I'm ready for it again. Okay. Just just for what it's worth. Okay. Just find we'll that Put that, for that up that. on there. Okay. Go ahead and let's see. Let me get an up close shot of my hand. That's You're weird. twisting it the wrong way. But no, I know. I'll write it and then I'll turn it. Um, okay. Let's see. Evan Lee, right Shepherd's here. Pie. I love it. And that's what actually um, our daughter... Hope has requested for her birthday dinner, mm -hmm. so I'm excited about that. Question here, do you guys use coupons? When I had kids home, I used to use a ton of coupons, saved a lot of money. And that is from Angie's Pantry. And I'll tell you what, Angie, the trick is this. Most of the time, for us, coupons don't work out at all, at all. Because they'll give you a coupon for something that was, let's just say, let's, 
let's say uh, it's mayonnaise for three dollars but they'll give you a coupon for 25 cents off so you're like okay two you know 275 all right but the generic if you can take it is okay. usually 250 the store brand yeah and we found that the store brand of all these mayonnaise tastes just as good as, as Hellman's. Hellman's mayonnaise. And that's just that's just one thing. I mean, every family is going to have certain pet food items that you're like, nope, it has to be this one. That's great. Just don't make it all of them. Yeah. You've got to be very careful not to make sure that you're, you're just going, well, I won't compromise on that. Mm. No. Okay, Dirty Dirt Farm Homestead. Does does mom have, or do I have a peri recipe? I wish I did. Because... They don't seem hard. They seem They're piddly. Futzy. They're piddly. I love them. We and do too, yeah. we've only had them good... Um, with the Polish family. With the Polish family down in Florida. Some very close friends of ours. Actually, Jonathan's godmother. and um, They make... She makes the best pierogies, and I wish I could make them, but I have not. Okay, another meal. Okay, keeping in mind, guys, our sales. 70 cents a pound for chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. So we need to have red beans and rice with chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quiero arroz con pollo. Okay. <laughs> you want rice I want, and beans. Yes, I do. Okay. And um, for us, her rice and beans recipe is ridiculous. Yeah. So where are you going to go with that? Um, I think I'm going to do that on no, not a Saturday. I'm going to do that on a Sunday. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's do that this Sunday. That sounds fun. Chicken, red beans, rice. And one thing that we do, guys, also, is we try to look. Here we go. I'll show you the menu. We'll try to, to space things out where you're not back-to-back -back with a bunch of meats. Right. Or right. you're not back-to-back -back with a similar kind of um, food. So we need to think along the lines of we need at least three to four chicken recipes while yeah. we're because of this. So there's okay. one. Okay. Um, you know, we make a, a really yummy um, chicken casserole, and we don't have it very often. Can we put that on the menu? You mean like the one you put with the stuffing in the middle? No. But that we could do that. What are you suggesting? I, I'm suggesting a, an actual casserole that's chicken and veggies and pasta. Sure. <laughs> you, but you just totally made that up. No, I didn't. I, we have it. You're a goof. We have it just, in we, our in our. Goof. Let it, let it, let it. We're all organized. Organized. You're driving me crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's going to start knocking things over. I'm not knocking anything. I'm going to knock you. Yeah. <laughs> what about a soup? I know it's getting to be summer, but we can still get away with that one right there. Oh, the lemon chicken orzo soup? Yeah. That is delightful. Yeah. Uh, it's a lemon chicken orzo, so you guys know the little orzo pasta. And it's got just a really, not, a, not an overwhelming lemon. But the chicken in there, and there's some celery in there, it's really good, and it probably feeds us for four fifty. would you say? Yeah. Four fifty. Yeah. yeah. So here she's putting that one on there. And, oh, they're sharing recipes. Isn't that cool? Oh, sweet. Cool. Chicken and dumplings is always a good idea. I love chicken and dumplings, too. Yeah. Um, Avonlea, you're right. Um, the, the homemade mayo is is very inexpensive to make. Um, you just got to know how much you want to make so it doesn't go bad. Right. You, that's the thing. It Using the fresh eggs, is it, it will go bad within a week or so. Um, but, and I'm sure, I don't want to, I don't want to use like any of the soybean oil. We don't. Yeah. You know, I actually bought some sunflower oil, but it just, that raises the cost. All right, we need a couple more chicken meals. So what I start doing when we're, we're starting to fill up the uh, dates is I'll start looking through our old meal plans and going, all right, that worked, yeah. or that didn't, right. or, you know, well, we have something very similar, and so I'll start looking through, and I'm looking for something. Barbecue chicken. I can do that. How about this one, too? We can do that. Okay. Chicken and broccoli alfredo. That's so one of my favorites. Barbecue chicken would be a good one for, like, a Saturday. Okay. Chicken and broccoli. Here we go. 
So that was chicken and broccoli Alfredo. Yeah. And then over here we'll do barbecue chicken. Okay. And you know what I think we could have for like a meatless meal? Uh, what if we had um, like stir fry rice? Or do you want oh, to have chicken in yeah. it? Oh, yeah. No, stir fry. Yeah, we can, do, we can put... No, let's let's, let's do say veggie. The chicken. Let's do veggie. And then we could have like a wonton soup or something, but that's got, that's pork, got in pork in it. No, I think just the. Um, what would we have with it? Maybe a side of well, no, it's got veggies in it. Um, we don't want to do like noodles because then that's too much starch. We'll have to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. But definitely stir fry rice for yeah. sure, because um, that's cheap and everybody loves it. Yeah. Angie's Pantry is saying that you should put pierogies on the menu because she's sending you a recipe. <gasps> you are? Thank you. I will put pierogies on the menu. Okay. Let's see. It's got to have to be on a Sunday or a Saturday because... Well, we're out of Saturdays. Yeah, we are out of Saturdays, mm -hmm. so we'll do it on a Sunday. What's happening? What happened? We will there. put it on this Sunday. Is, that, is it E-I or I-E? I don't know. I think it's I-E. If it's wrong, if I'm wrong, please correct me and then I'll fix it. Okay. Um, so we still need another chicken. Oh, I know what we can do with chicken. Uh, this is awesome. A barbecue chicken pizza. Yes. Now, the, the only thing that's a little expensive about it is uh, the, gouda the gouda cheese. But what you got is you got a homemade dough, like a pizza dough. So mom makes that cost like 25 cents, 50 cents. Yeah, for everybody's for pizzas. And then you've got a barbecue sauce that goes with some red onions and um, some Gouda cheese you know, sliced up right there. Mm -hmm. And pretty much that's it. And it's really good with the barbecue chicken on there. Yep. And, that's my favorite. Yep. So now all these has Gouda. We'll have to check into that. This they do have gouda. I have seen it there. Mm -hmm. We've bought it and it's really good. But we bought it in the slices. Yep. So I think we're due for one more chicken-ish meal. Okay. Is that about right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see. Yep. Their Gouda is, for the slices, is $1.99. So we kind of poke it, poke, pull it apart. Gouda or Cavarti. Which, that's another yummy cheese. Yes. Okay. So you want pizza, the barbecue chicken pizza? Yes. And we'll count up our chickens, because so okay. well, I don't want to have... I don't think it would be a good idea to have more than four meals just because the chicken's bone in. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I will probably be bone. Yeah, that. but my point is, there's it's when we're buying five pounds of meat, we're not going to be buying five pounds of meat. We're going to be buying good call. a pound and a half of bones or whatever right. it is. Three, four, five. That one's not a full one, so we're fine. No, I know. Five, six. We're good. We're good, so we need to be done with chicken meals for now. Okay. So what days are we on there, Mama? How many, what do we got open? We have, well, tonight and tomorrow, well, that's leftover, remember. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, we're good. Halfway. halfway there. Now, question, guys. For those of you out there, uh, suggestions. We'd like to hear some suggestions that it might jog our memory, uh, you know, and be like, hey, this is great. Um, so for how about some meatless suggestions? We yeah. know we baked potato bar is a must. Yeah. The did kids love right the baked potato bar. No, I didn't. So all you do is you get, I mean, geez, oh, Pete, you can get 10 pounds of potatoes for usually four bucks. Yeah. And then you bake them up. No big deal, you know, and... Uh, put out butter and sour cream and all that kind of right. stuff. I saw a question about, um, well, there was two questions. Do we always make the monthly list together? Generally. Generally. generally um, Unless it, she's busy or right, I'm busy. Right, right. Um, and then there was another one. Um, do How much extra do you budget for holidays and birthday meals? We do. Um, well, we don't for birthdays, really. Well... When, okay, I, I have been doing more of the shopping lately than Mama, mm -hmm. just because Mama nannies some babies, yep. and uh, so she's here more than, I'm. I have more flexibility, yes. and um, so I will set aside money, it's funny because we've got our, we've got our envelope, we have our money, mm -hmm. right, 
And when I go and I'm like, okay, my first run of groceries, I don't want to go over $325, $350, period. Right. But we'll go and buy 80% of the groceries that first trip out. Mm -hmm. Then all I'm thinking is, all right, do I have a birthday? All right, we're probably going to have to find out what they want. Like for this case, this month, Hope wants shepherd's pie. Less ground beef, but it's not a lot of ground beef. Potatoes are cheap. Yeah. Cheese, we put corn in it. And I know for folks over there in England, it's not lamb and it's not, it's not, you know, but that's how we do it. And uh, But I'll keep it in my mind that if I need to be saving up for something, and we also, I'll, I'll only do that first chunk the way that we do it like that because we're going to need butter throughout the month. We'll need milk. We'll need milk throughout the month. Sometimes we need cheese, extra cheese. Fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that way there's always a fresh vegetable or salad with every meal. Yeah. And we haven't put that on here, but generally, like, for example, this day with the spaghetti, mm -hmm. we'll either have fresh bread that Mala made with it, yep. or we'll have a side salad. Right. And same thing with a lot of these things, that, that uh, we're not saying all of the things we do, so we're saying them now. Right. So, well, and we don't um, we don't plan for lunches because because lunches are generally leftover night or leftover times. So it's you know there there's usually seven days of leftover or six days of leftovers. So like little kids will have um, leftovers for lunch, and then on Thursdays when we do leftover it's night, it's polish it off. It's all polish off. it off and it's gone. Yep. So. So, and that's one of the reasons why we want to get another homestead. There's no waste. Yeah. But that's a whole other story. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for birthdays, we make birthday gal boys. That's what we're doing, homestead yes. pioneer we, way. Yeah, we're making her favorite meal. She absolutely loves shepherd's pie. It wasn't something we picked. That was something we had talked to her earlier about. Yep. So, okay, other things. Now, we, we need to probably start thinking about um, some meatless options, Mama. Okay. So did you put the baked potato bar now? I did. I did. Um, somebody suggested a quiche. Real men don't eat quiche. It's a book. I don't know. I just said that. <laughs> it's a You've book. You've had it before, haven't you? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> we could But that's, that's eggs. It's I, mostly eggs. It's mostly eggs, and I'm not a huge fan of... Quiche? Quiche. No, I like quiche. It just has to have very few eggs in it. So, Rhonda Kaufman, ground beef, rice, and brown gravy is cheap. We've been we've had that on our menu plan mm -hmm. uh, yeah. once a month for the last few months, yeah. and I love it. Yeah, we'll put it over mashed potatoes. Sometimes you can put it over noodles if you want to switch it up, but it's cheap. Uh, okay, veggie stir fry. Oh, did you get the veggie stir fry down? Oh no, I didn't. I forgot. Yep, because that's cheap and it's really really good. We just got to figure out a side with that. Rice. Stir fry. We can do salad, maybe. We can always do a small salad. salad. Why not? Yeah, sure. Because, you know, if we want to put chicken in there, we can. Maybe there'll be some left over. Have we, well, I like I said, I'm not a huge fan of eggs, but what about trying egg drop soup? I like egg drop soup. Um, we can try it. We can give it a go. Like it. Yeah, we can give it a go. and that's still veggie. Yep. We don't do vegan. Well, it's yeah. eggs or protein, so. Right, whatever. right, but um, so. All right. Well, we have very few beef meals on there, which is not terrible. No, that's not terrible because beef is really expensive. Yep. Um, okay. What about you? Got any ideas over there? No. Huh. What about? I know one that you like a lot is um but we just had it is the creamy sausage and tomato skillet i'll put that on for later in the late month. yeah way late, later we just had month. it we did just have it last sunday um and it's just that it's just one of those really fast easy inexpensive meals that it's just so tasty maybe we could do a soup and salad mullah like uh how about a french onion soup and a caprese salad yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We don't have our good garden tomatoes. And store bought tomatoes taste like styrofoam. Well, you know what? Then maybe we can just do, you know, compare. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens. But um, 
One of the things the kids like a lot is grilled cheese and tomato soup night. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. We'll do grilled cheese. But not, not tomato soup. Grilled sneeze. Tomato soup. And uh, we already have one breakfast for a meal. We do? Uh, I thought you were supposed to put one that I didn't. I, I must thought... have forgotten. Because we were talking about, yeah, and we'll do like, for the meat, we'll do ham, I guess, okay, because okay. okay. then she'll make like, um, you know, just regular old biscuits, we kind of eggs and ham, that's great, and it's or, a cheap yeah, meal. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Um, and then we can also, if, like, if we slice the ham, we can make a ham and egg, um, like a sandwich, sandwich for, in bre for breakfast. Yep. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven meals. Oh, eight for tonight. Oh, for tonight. I don't know. What do you guys want to eat? Who's yeah, coming what? over? Yeah. You coming over, Claire? Okay. Um, let me see that let real him... quick. No, let me see that. I, don't... I texted him earlier. Okay. I, I can understand that. Let me see that. Um, so you keep chatting, Mama, and I will... Um, I will... It's our son who's Sorry. in the military, and he uh, is having to make a big decision today, and we're trying to help him with that. Help so with that. forgive me. Mama, you keep going. Oh, great. I get to do this by myself. No, it's okay, Claire. It's okay. Uh, oh. Okay, so we have... I'll be right back because I don't want to be rude, but I'll keep it very short. Okay. Um, let's see. What, Claire, what are you in the mood for? Food. We're hungry. I'm hungry for food. Yeah. It is, it is past lunchtime. Kale. Um, kale. <laughs> Let's see. We make a, a copycat chicken brine that is ridiculous. Kind of in the mood for okay, hot dogs. Hot dogs. <laughs> hot dogs. Okay, go on, share bear. Ruthie is photobombing, which she's good at. Pork? No. Pork? No. What? Just pork steaks. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Yeah. We. I. I do like um, the occasional pork steaks once in a while. Once in a while. We don't do it very often. There's the chicken noodle casserole. I'm putting it on the menu. Hmm. There it is. Let's see. Chicken noodle casserole. Do you guys have any other meatless um, ideas? I. You know. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put quiche on here. <laughs> I'm gonna do that for a Sunday. Look out, Claire! Sorry, no, I spelled it wrong. I spell quiche. That's what a Q U. Oh, it's Q U no, I C H. Q U. That's right. Did they talk you guys into quiche? No, I did. I did. I'll try it. I'll try it. So, are we are we to the point where we're looking for new recipes? Yes, looking for new ones. We need, I think, seven now. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven more. Well, and uh, Chicken Stamps is saying pinto beans over cornbread is yummy. That doesn't sound too shabby. It uh, does sound good, actually. What do we have? We usually have cornbread religiously with chili. Chili. Mm -hmm. um, but we've got our spaghetti meals on there right now. So yeah, cool. just have that on top. Of, you know, let, okay, do you have a pinto beans recipe? Because I've never made them. You know what? You just gave me an idea. We need to find a recipe that you guys are going to send in that we'll put on our menu plan and try it out. Yeah. And then when we try it out, we'll tell you what we think. Yeah. Yeah. So private message us your best recipe that you think that we might pick. All right? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Moving on. Did you get the French? No, we, we did. We did. We didn't put the French soup on there, did we? Uh, no, we did grilled cheese and tomato soup. Okay. Our kids won't go more than a month without having hamburgers. That's true. Or hot dogs. Actually, Which hot dogs hamburgers. are gross. Hot dogs are gross. But it, it's it's one of those things. When it's when it's nice out, we cook outside. Yeah. And actually, we got to think about that, too, because we do a lot of um, cast iron cooking. Yeah. So why don't you put a burgers down... We have campfire meals. I don't know. Yes. Campfire, campfire meals. meals. 
If we See, guys... I like to do those on a, on a Friday or Saturday. You have turn this so you can read it. Okay. There we go. Readable. So I think I'm going to put uh, campfire meals here. And I like doing, um, with the campfire meals, I like doing kielbasa. You know, like instead of ground beef. Instead of ground beef. Because it doesn't burn. It doesn't burn. It's already cooked. Um, you're just basically heating the sausage. Um, mac and cheese. See, mac and cheese is actually a very expensive it's a meal. Very expensive meal. Because when we make macaroni and cheese, it's not out of a box. No. Mm -mm. And so you've got like cheddar, and then you've got this kind of that kind, of, three cheeses, and all of a sudden it's like fifteen dollars for cheese. Yeah. Holy smokes. And, I, yeah, we won't use Velveeta. We'll use the real cheese. Okay. Let's see. This is a great recipe that... The Mexican lasagna. Yeah. Okay. We don't need to put it down right now, but I just want to share it with you guys. Because I like messing with this re different recipes. Mm -hmm. And so what I did was I took, you know, your regular tortillas, the rounds, and we've got some cake pans that they just happen to fit perfectly yeah, in. They are perfect. So you go ahead and spray down the bottom, you put a tortilla down there, then you put some meat or cheese or refried beans, and then you keep stacking them up. And then you've got a lasagna that's great, and you cut it out like a piece of pie. Yeah. We only have two. We can put that up here. We'll do a Mexican lasagna up here. And we haven't even gone to pork at all. No, we have not. Do you want to have... Um, um, maybe some Christmas meat. You want to cook that stuff? Mm, that's a possibility. Since our Sundays are taken. Are they all taken? Mm -hmm. Okay. Saturdays and Sundays are. We'll all ditch the quiche. Hmm? Ditch the quiche for Christmas meat. For you guys who don't know, uh, uh, Christmas meat is affectionately what we call it. It's a German recipe of some kind that's been kind of manipulated and switched, but all it is is you have a, a piece of roast pork, and then you're going to make it into a gravy with the meat in small chunks, and it's got some uh, uh, clove, black pepper, and bay, uh, bay leaf. Yeah, so it's got a rich, you know, the gravy is a very rich thing, and you put it over fresh uh, broken bread. Yep. And we call it Christmas meat because that's what we would have on Christmas all the time. Uh, and it's actually pretty cheap if you get a nice cut of pork. Yeah, and you can, um, it, it's funny because it was it was always made with veal and pork. Um, there was no we, reason for the expense. The veal is very expensive, so we just decided to start making it with um, just pork. And we get the big pork loin, and we'll make the whole thing, and... And it is, it's a favorite of everybody's here, so there's very little left over. Yeah, that gets consumed quickly. So yeah. why don't you go ahead and put that down there somewhere? I did. Oh, I yeah. Did for here. The quiche gets bounced. The quiche is bounced. How many more days we got, and what days are there? Because that makes Wednesday, a difference. Wednesday, Tuesday, it's another Tuesday, and a Friday. Okay, Friday. Mm -hmm. Did you get Claire's hot dogs on there? No, yes. I didn't know that. Well, I, you know, if we have money in the budget, let's go to Bratland. Yes. <laughs> Instead of, see, hot dogs are okay, brats just, are better. Uh, let's see. Put that on a Friday, okay. yeah. Because if we're lucky, it'll we'll be able to cook it outside. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one, but we work. We don't need any more chicken. Is uh, no the bang bang chicken. Well, yeah. I am. Gonna, I do have chicken nuggets on a just Saturday. Just make that. I'll just put bang bang chicken nuggets. Those are so good. We'll describe the uh, it's, sauce. The sauce is um, it's mayonnaise. Actually, hold on. It's mayonnaise. I saw the recipe here just a second ago. And I'll read it to you. It's so good. It is a copycat recipe from uh, P.F. Chang's. Yeah, and it's delightful. It's really, really good. And it's the crumb, the, the uh, coating is. Um, uh, sugar. Where is it? I just saw it. This is what happens when you do this live. It's where we can't have nice things. things. Right. There it is. Oops. It's somewhere. Okay. So the, 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 the breading is a, 
um, you dip the chicken in um, sure. buttermilk and cornstarch and, yeah, here, buttermilk and oil. Well, the oil is for cooking it, but buttermilk, flour, cornstarch, and egg, and then hot, some hot sauce. And that's what you dip the chicken in, and then you then you coat that with panko breadcrumbs. It's nice cracker, crunchy deliciousness. And then the sauce is mayonnaise, sweet chili sauce, and that that's a Frank's sweet chili sauce, honey, and then more Frank's hot sauce. And see, I kind of I kind of change the the uh, amounts here. I change it because I like a little bit more hot and a little bit more sweet together, and it's really really good. So Cheryl's asking, have we ever had seven layer salad? What is a seven layer salad? I have had that. It's it's very good. It's um, you've got your lettuce, you've got your peas, you've got different layers of different veggies, and then this really yummy uh, sauce that goes on to the dressing <laughs> that's on it. It's really really good. Um, I just have I just don't make it. Grilled kebabs with ground pork meatballs is easy and pretty inexpensive. I've yeah. never tried that, and kebabs is one of my favorite uh -huh. things. We do the, the really hard ones where you just cut up the chicken and the meat and all the veggies, yeah. and it's a pain in the butt, but I, I got that for my birthday yes. this year, so, so that was He nice. doesn't get it until next birthday. But this sounds different. <laughs> I think they're, they're, she's saying you use ground pork. How is that going to stay on the... Oh, well, maybe you freeze it before you... Skewer? Spinach with ricotta and stuffed shells. Oh my gosh, you're making me hungry. Well, it is past lunchtime. So, how many more and what days? Uh, tonight, uh, so it's a Wednesday a two, and two Tuesdays. We're at, we got three left. Okay. Let's go with a, what about a chili mac? Okay. Chili mac. So we already have our chili that's canned. We make up our chili in big, like, big batches and then we can it in quarts. Um, yeah, we can do a chili mac. That sounds good. And then let's try to find some, for the rest, some new recipes. I gotta do it over here. There's no spaghetti. Not chicken mac. Chicken mac. <laughs> chili mac. Chili mac. Yep. All right, new recipes. Two more. Two more. Tonight and, tu and, a, and a Tuesday. Tonight and a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take a look. What are we in the mood for? Anything? Yeah, it's hard to see. There's a glare on it. Yeah, I'm trying to... We don't have any fish on there, but fish is expensive right now. Well, and, it's, and if it's, it's caught, scary. if it's caught in certain areas of the world, you don't want to eat it. No, you don't. Yeah. What chicken piccata? We haven't had. Well, we no, no more chicken. But we got plenty of chicken. We got plenty of chicken. She's looking, looking. It's funny. What tuna? What? No, I don't know. Tuna noodle casserole, because that's yummy. We like no. that. Beef, Beef strong enough. enough. So good. It is so good, but that that might be pushing our budget. Yeah. But you know what? Right now our meats are great. Yeah, our meats are great. We're saving a lot of money getting the chicken at a good deal. And stretching it. Let's do that. Let's do. Beef or do you want to do? Uh, how about beef paprikash? No. No, you want stroganoff? Mm -hmm. Beef stroganoff, it is. <laughs> I love them both, but the the beef paprikash is it's like a Portuguese kind of thing where there's a lot of uh, paprika in there. Mm -hmm. And it's sour cream, mm -hmm. but um, I like, you know what, you know what I would prefer? Mm -hmm. the, the Swedish meatballs. And then it's going to be cheaper, too, because it's ground beef. True. Okay. Score. Yes. They're so good. And the, the problem is they're piddly, and I know that's why she's cringing, because I do most of the cooking, believe it or not. I have to do all the prep stuff, though. So it's like, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all right. All right, what about, um, we have one meal left. For tonight. Dinner tonight. Tell you what. what? Happened. We're not telling. You're going to have to tune in tomorrow to find out what we did. <laughs> we'll tell you. Okay. So well, that's I... how we do it, guys. Let's show them, show them over here. Okay. And what we have done is we've strategically made sure that we got the best deal from Aldi's. Yeah. Okay. And so this is May. So we're getting okay. 15 pounds of chicken for just over 10 bucks. Right. And that means we don't have to have a ton of ground beef. And it doesn't mean we have to have a ton of pork. Right. We space all this out. And I guarantee you, this 
plan right here will be far less than three hundred and fifty dollars when my when I go to get the first eighty percent of the meal. Right. Right. And that leaves us a lot of room for um, fresh vegetables throughout the uh, month. Yeah. Uh, and lunches. And you know what? Oh, we didn't address the breakfasts. Oh, breakfasts. Well, that's, we kind of did. I mean, anytime we do um, biscuits and gravy, we'll have leftover biscuits and the kids will, you know, will make the, the uh, egg McMuffin type thing. Um, and then we always have Cheerios, Rice Krispies. Yeah. We don't buy a lot of sugar. We don't buy hardly any sugar cereals. Um, we always have oatmeal, yep. always have eggs. Um, There's always staples that we buy yeah. right. without putting them on here. Right. Because uh, we know, I mean, we know we're going to need probably four of the big bags of cereal. We're going to need X amount of oatmeal. I like grits, so like that kind of stuff. We just automatically buy it, and the breakfasts right. don't come to very expensive at all. No, no, not not for our kids. I mean, our kids don't eat very large breakfasts anyway. I mean, we always have fruit, so they'll have fruit, like apples, oranges, or bananas with, yep. with breakfast. Um, and then um, they, our kids pretty much have their breakfasts on their own. Yeah. Um, it's Well, not on their own. The, the little kids eat together, and then Claire will eat later on, and we will eat breakfast when we get hungry. <laughs> yeah, or <laughs> if I or at all. get hungry at all. Right. Sometimes so, we wait till lunch. Yeah, but we always eat together our main meal, which is our dinner. Mm -hmm. We always, always sit down. Sit. Yeah. And um, so this is kind of how we go about it, guys. And uh, I, I, how long have we been on the video, Claire? Uh, an hour. An hour? Yeah. Normally, if we weren't explaining stuff, this process would be about 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah. Because I'll sit down and fill out the staples, and then I'll go, okay, what do you think? And then we'll right. work together on it. Right. Um, and so... That's how we do it, and we're going to probably keep doing this maybe once a month until you guys get tired of watching it, <laughs> um, because we have to do it anyway, and I think it helps you guys. It seems to me, looking at the comments, that yeah. you guys are enjoying it. Well, and I love getting the feedback from you guys on, okay, how about this recipe? And then you guys send the recipe to me, which is We like stuff. recipes. I love the recipes. And Claire, put my email up there. So that they can send me the recipe, because if we send it to him, he'll never, I'll never get it. That's not true at all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not true at all. That's cute. Anyway, guys, if you don't, if you don't uh, mind hitting that thumbs up, we do greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment when you know the video is already done, because it'd be nice to come back and yeah, see if you yeah. if you liked it. And uh, well, that's it. Yeah. That's it for the day. So. I'm Krista. Yeah, I'm He's not. Brad. I'm not. You guys have an amazing and day. And i got to find where the mouse is so I can turn it off. There the it computer's is. computer's over there. Stop streaming. Bye, guys. Bye.